Everything's a high screen, and Levine. Oh. <laughs> I mean, when you're scoring, like. Inside play, it's out of the clock. And Clarkson takes the three, and the ball bounces out to Chicago. Quick outlet pass, and a runner to the rack. A big bucket on the Sato with six assists right now. Booker, the lob for eight. Oh, Jimmy's going to get away. The Pauliums. The This week on the Blunders of Our Bulls. The Bulls had six games since my last episode, so it's a lot, but time to talk about it. The Bulls played the Nets and played their first great game with the new players. Yes, I know Harden and Durant were out, but they still had Kyrie. Troy Brown Jr. was locking him up though, so shout out to him. Zach Levine had 25 points and wasn't shooting good from three, but he had the dagger three when it mattered most. Oh. Levine looking for a big three, his first of the night! For that, he gets the Bulls player of the game. Good win for the Bulls to finally snap a six-game losing streak. The Bulls played the Pacers, who were without Sabonis, so it was a must-win game. The Bulls did not disappoint, as they played a very good game, leading by double digits most of the game. The Bulls got an easy victory. Vucevic had 32 points and just dominated. For that performance, he gets the Bulls player of the game. Another good win, hopefully they keep the streak going. The Bulls played the Raptors, who were also shorthanded. Kyle Lowry was out for this game. The Bulls again played a good game and were up by double digits most of the time. The game got a little too close to the end, but Zach again hit another dagger three. Zach finished with 22 points, and he had 13 assists, a career high for him. For that, he gets the Bulls player of the game. Another good win for the Bulls, that makes it three in a row. All you need to know about this game is the fact that Zach Levine is a god. 39 points in the first half, the most by any player in over five years. He couldn't just be stopped. He scored 25 straight points for the Bulls, just amazing. He finished with 50 points, a new career high. Game doesn't matter, just enjoy, just enjoy greatness. The Bulls played the Timberwolves and started to play like the Bulls I know all too well. No defense and playing down to their competition. The Timberwolves are the worst team in the league, and we lost. We let Ricky Rubio hit five threes. Are we serious? I have no words. Like, this is just sad. The Bulls played the Grizzlies, and it was a hard-fought game. Low scoring and a lot of hustle plays. But by the end, the Bulls had no energy left and just fell apart. This just came down to the fact that the Bulls had nothing left in the tank. The Bulls are now 22-31 and 31 and 10th in the Eastern Conference. From here on out, every game matters, so the Bulls need to start winning. They need to start playing down to competition. Hopefully the Bulls play a lot better next time on the Wonders of Our Bulls.